Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I want to release blessing here one. Have you seen what is happening in Zambia? I'm praying what I'm seeing in Zambia. This year concerning rain is not good. It's just that I don't want to say it. I don't I don't want to prophesy it. But I'm praying for the nation of Zambia, Southern Africa. I'm praying that God may remember you with rains. I'm praying that God will give you rain so that the issue of low shedding that you are going through, it breaks my heart, you know, it touches my heart. I don't know how a normal human being will survive without electricity for three days, for four days, no water, no electricity. It breaks my heart, you know, from the bottom of my heart, it breaks my heart. I don't even know. That's why all the attacks that i was heaping on the government i can't i can't just i can't just when the government is under pressure i will add pressure on it i understand what the people of zambia are going through believe me this is the fault of nobody no one no one expected that no one expected that to happen is unbelievable i you know i pray for you you may think that i don't pray for you i pray for you i ask god to give you rain i ask god to give you rain you know i i ask god to give you rain give the people of zambia rain life without electricity is a uh, uh, you know uh, how god how god operates many of you we are laughing at nigeria uh, a few months ago nigeria lot shedding nigeria lot shedding today nigeria has where i am here you know where today ask anyone we have not less than 23 hours light in fact now it has even gone to 24 hours light every blessed day where i am at ebu ebu where ask ask anybody ask anybody uh -huh. and you when you are saying nigeria 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 don't have electricity there is electricity so i am praying that god release rain to the people of zambia this year though i have i didn't see enough friend i pray that uh, president hh whatever he want to do in china with the energy works out because you really need to prepare yourself because another drought is coming you need to prepare yourself quickly between now and this time next year so that there will be or other sources of energy because another drought is coming bigger than the one that you have experienced this year <laughs> that's why we i'm praying that people respond people respond uh, it, sometimes when we advise the government it looks like we are fools you know when we give advice to the government it looks like we are fools it looks like we are not wise but we are wise in opposition when did we become fool did we just form government and those that we are giving good advices became fools mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying if you if you see what is happening today the president hh is a very good person that guy is a very good guy but he has been messed up by the people he in, he trusted with his leadership the people that advise him they have messed him up same as eddie galungu like, like i said i knew eddie galungu way before he became president 
This was a very humble guy. Same as a church. You know, these are people that used to listen to advice. And, they, and, and when you want a proper advice, you need to get advice from someone who is in touch with the people. You don't just form government and say, ah, I'm not going to listen to this one. This one is a nobody. You start listening to the rich. The rich will give you advice of the rich. They don't know what happened on the ground. How can you get somebody that lives in a, in, a, in a Kablonga and tell him to, to give you advice of what is happening in Mississippi compound? He will tell you that everything is okay. Most of the people that live in Kablonga, they can afford. So when they are giving the president an advice, they give the president an advice from that level of people that can afford. That's why you need people. The one of the reasons why Sata was almost succeeding in his leadership is because he understood the poor. Most of his advisors were poor people because the poor will tell you what poor people are going through. So when you win election, you appoint only friends, those that you think that are educated, as you know that ed ed most educated people in Africa are cowards. Most educated people in Africa cannot give you any good advice. They are just after their pocket, nothing else. Most educated people, that, that, that's them in Africa. So you tell them to, to, to give you advice of what is happening. Hey, my friend, what is happening in Intendere? They don't live in Intendere. They don't know what is happening in Intendere. So that's how HH was deceived. If not, the issue of electricity was not going to be there. You know, if we were advising a church the way we were advising him when he was in opposition, and if he was listening to us when he was listening when he was in opposition, this thing was not going to be there. When a church won election, he started listening to to the rich. You know, he started listening to people to people that he thinks are educated. Hmm. Sorry, it. it, it to people that are educated they start giving him wrong advice you know they tell him no uh, everything is okay no imf imf what if a church if we are still giving him advice the way we are giving him advice i was going to tell him my brother go to china and look for alternative energy IMF don't have anything good for Africa. IMF actually want Africa finished. They want our population depopulated. They, they want, they don't like even our government. They don't like our president. So instead of going to IMF, go to China. B build that relationship with the China. The world is running to China. Angola is one of the fastest growing nation in the world today because they are dealing with the chinese china is willing to help africa imf don't have anything to give us imf themselves they are suffering more than us in africa so if that relationship was built three years ago by now we would have alternative energy but it was not built because people deceived the the president but one thing that is making me happy today if you look at my tone you will see that really uh, things are changing it's because hh is waking up right now hh is waking up hh his appointment now you can see that he has realized that most of the people that he trusted with power didn't love him so he has woken up now to appoint proper people. Sorry about that. A call came in. So he has woken up to realize, to say, no, most of the people I've been appointing don't really love me. They, they are just after their pocket. If I give policy, they don't move with the policy. They're after the pocket. So I'm, I'm enjoying the changes that is taking place in the government now. There are people that mean well for 
for the president and many of them are being remembered so i'm happy you know i'm happy if some other criminals that are remaining that think that they managed to that think that they have managed to with the hook hh your time is coming there is a clean a cleansing that is taking place now in hs government and i'm enjoying it this cleansing is going to help the party uh -huh. Uh -huh. chances like uh, simon Mwewa, opportunities opportunities like simon Mwewa. you can be in you can be still jumping up and down but very soon uh, <laughs> The rod, the rod that is moving now, the cleansing rod that is moving now will touch you. Uh, it will touch you. The people that fought for the party are the ones that are coming up to enjoy. More news to come, my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now. I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.